Hello, my name is Karina and welcome to my channel, Life's Little Things. Some of you have requested that I do a car tour. Me and Jason have been needing a vehicle for quite a while now. Our one uh, Volkswagen Beetle had broken down and it just wasn't running anymore so we had to get rid of it. And um, our Impala is just was getting old so we really needed to think about getting a vehicle so we had been searching for quite a while now <laughs> and we found a really good place to get two vehicles I got a vehicle and Jason got a vehicle Jason got a 2016 Nissan Juke and I got a 2017 Nissan Rogue so let me show you these vehicles. Okay, this is my car. This is the Nissan Rogue. Okay. The back door has a camera where you can move your foot and it opens up and I will show you the back first. Okay, this is the trunk and with this you can actually move these around. You can make a box out of them, you can have stuff hidden underneath. Jason, you're going to show. Yeah. <laughs> There's, you can do that. There's stuff that can go under there. two levels that way and you can have stuff hidden underneath this or you can make it a box and have stuff closed in back there and then have this part all open so it has a couple little straps that fit on there too to help hold it in place and hold it there And then in here is the um, jack to change your tire. And then underneath here is the spare tire. Okay, so that is the truck. All right, this is the back seat. It has lots of room. The doors have bottle holders or cup holders in each door. And then each of the seats tilt back so they can lay back a little bit in the back seat. The middle part comes down when you pull that rope and it has cup holders in that and I'll show you that. The cup holders are nice and deep so. Alright. This is the front. Front has seat heaters, steering wheel heater. I mean, it's pretty, pretty much fully loaded, this vehicle is. Um, it's got your cameras for backup camera. It has your cameras for the side for like if you are moving over and somebody's in your blind spot, it's gonna beep and let you know that they're in your blind spot. But right there, those lights turn on um, when a car is even close to you or on your side. When you're going to switch lanes, the lights actually blink. But if it feels that the car is too close, it'll beep. And it's not a loud startling beep, it's a light beep. And here's where the backup camera is. It's got... You know the mirror and stuff here it's got a sunglass holder here um you can program your garage door to be programmed right into it so you don't have to have a separate garage door holder okay you can um have an automatic shift or you can have a manual shift and this actually has sport mode right there uh, it helps with you know slipping all of that. Let me see. 
This is the compartment in the middle and it has a plug, you know, to plug things into. But then it also has, you know, the, here's the, the shifter and it has a thing to plug in like your phone and stuff. But it hooks your phone right in so it's Bluetooth. It has a Bose stereo in it. It also has a memory seat where when you set the seats however you want, you can have it memorize it and then it will remember you. And then up on the top, this is a full moon roof. It goes all the way back. You can open it all the way, partial, however you want. And then the window opens up for extra air. So, yes, that is my car. And this is Jason's vehicle. Okay, this is the trunk. Jason's going to explain it to you. Back seats I have folded down because we had some boxes. I got some dirt in here from a box we just took to uh, Goodwill. But you lift up this little mat and lift this up. And there's a little storage container. And I've got an emergency response bag in here. And then you can lift this up. You have extra storage in here. You can slide this right here. And hold it. And slide this up and out. You can take it with you. There's a spare tire underneath there. Just a donut tire, but it'll work and then the jack and everything is right inside this little container everything you need to change the tires in here put this back get into the back seat the handles are actually up here kind of get it a clean look hold these seats back up actually when you do that you need to move your front seats forward Locked in place. Seat belts are out of the way. So seats, these aren't don't have as many adjustments as Corey's car. This one just basically has your back forward and tilt forward and back. And then there's a lever. Pull up and slide front and for your leg room. Um, but it has a Rockford Fosgate sound system in it, which is a really good top-of-the-line stereo system. Um, These go like this. I'll show you. They close, and then you can turn them to do it different, you know, to have it hit different ways. And then this has, so on the, the radio display, there's a button you can hit. It's called D mode. There's actually, it's called D mode right there. That's your drive mode. Um, this is an automatic seven speed automatic, but you can actually shift it down into drive and then shift it to the left and Manually shift up and down and then you can also put it from it's in normal mode most of the time uh, You can put it in sport mode, which gives you a little more horsepower, but a little less gas mileage uh, Gives you some better performance and then you can also change it into economy mode So if you're traveling on the highway, it reduces your horsepower a little bit, but gives you a little better gas mileage. Um, it's got a navigation system built in. It's on a, a, a micro card, a micro SD card, so you don't have to pay for the service. If you want an update, it's like a hundred dollars to buy the new SD card with the fully new updated maps on it. Um, but this is a 2016, so everything should be fairly current as it is. Um, it's got a sunroof in it, and. It's got uh, heated seats, which are underneath the armrest. There's your controls for your heated seats. Uh, the one thing, because these are kind of a compact car, it's considered a station wagon. So for insurance purposes, it's gonna be really good. But with it being as small as it is, the cup holders here, one of them, if you have a real tall bottle, I don't know if it's actually gonna sit in there very well because it's kind of underneath the armrest. But you also have cup holders in each door in the front. So that, that'll be all right. Um, it's got a 12 volt outlet for charging cell phones things like that and then underneath on the left hand side It's also it also has like a, a 
USB input and a um, speaker input so you can just plug a, a regular wire from like your headphones a, a jack in your cell phone or whatever into that and it'll come through the system it also has Bluetooth so your cell phones you can have hands-free and do everything you want and it's got the hey Siri uh, feature where you can just when well, you're connected through Bluetooth just say hey Siri and she'll come through the car stereo system and you can tell her what you want and ask her questions it's this one's used but it's I like it it's a it's a really nice car it's gonna be great on gas it gets like 32 miles to the gallon for gas so going back and forth to work that's gonna be awesome all right I'll show you the driver's seat okay this is the driver's door I need to ask you something. Do me a favor. In the comment section down below, me and Jason are trying to come up with names for our vehicles and we would love to see what names you come up with for the vehicle and we'll see if we choose one or we choose one of our own. I'm not sure, but we would love to know what you think for names for the vehicles. All right, thanks for joining me and I will talk to you later. Bye.